Up troops. Hey, Ow! Hey, Littleton here with a video this week about Maestro, who for me is, I actually think, an underrated operator. Everyone knows how good he is, but no one really plays him often enough, in my opinion. If you don't want to listen to me babble on about Maestro for the next 30, 40, 50, 60 seconds, have a look at the timestamps below and jump into the first map and have a look at my thoughts on the best evil eye placements. If you do want to listen, I'm just going to talk about Maestro very quickly. So, there's a couple of different ways to play Maestro, in my opinion. You've got plant denial, intel denial, and just general information. Plant denial, the cams go down in places where you're going to be able to stop the plant. Intel denial is on long corridors and, and typical busy sections of a map where you're going to be able to destroy drones before the enemy can get the intel. And the third one is just general information. So if you were to put a cam on 90 on Villa, for example, you would get some general info more than the default cam could give you because it would stay alive for longer. Now, Maestro has been buffed and nerfed recently. Um, the buff is the fact that now the teammates, once you're dead, can move the cameras, uh, which is a huge buff because you used to get um, Maestro players that used to put the cams down. They were facing a wall and they'd die and the cameras were no use, really. The nerf, though, is when an enemy is within melee range, they can melee the Maestro camera now, which will smash the glass on the front of the camera. The camera is still usable for audio and for opening the lens to shoot the lasers, but obviously as soon as you open the lens, the camera becomes vulnerable. Um, so just try and keep them out of range of attackers. My best advice is to try and vault up on things or put things hard to get and hard to melee. It's going to keep them alive for longer and make them useful for longer. If you did choose to listen to me ramble on about Maestro for a bit, thanks very much. Let's get stuck into the video and have a look at some sweet evil eye placements. Right, check out this bad boy of a camera. So we are defending Oregon top four. I've shot out the drawers. I've destroyed the washing basket. There's a mug you can see just there and a fan. I've shot them out, okay? So now I crouch, ADS the middle of the drawer and you need to line up right in the middle of the drawer. Like so, okay? As far as you can. Then look up to the corner of the room and you'll get a vault command. You see that vault command there? What I do now is I just come smash space until we get up there. Now bear in mind in a prep phase this isn't ideal, so hopefully you're better at it than I am. It's so annoying, I'm slamming space, come on, give me that vault. Any minute now, just talk amongst yourselves, there we go. Right, once you're up here, what you then need to do is you can't stand up at the moment. You need to strafe left until you drop an inch, and you'll note it, just watch, until you drop. Only go slightly or you'll fall off. See, I dropped a tad. Now I can stand up. Bring the cam over here. Put it as high up as you can. And the reason you've spent all that time doing that is twofold or threefold, I suppose. You can see trophy door. You can see default plant. But you can see big window. You can't see big window if you put the cam. Let me just show you. If you put the cam here, you can't see big window. Put the cam higher up, you can see who's outside big window. So. It is worth the time. If you can, if you're better at it than me and you can get up there quicker, good luck with it. But that is an absolutely superb spot. So the cam we just talked about will cover your default spot and the standard trophy uh, plants. The next cam I then do is a little sneaky one in between these shelves. If you, when you come up to it, if you just give your mouse a little wiggle up and down, you'll find the spot. It's quite, um, it's tucked away quite nicely. I don't think anyone on big window, sort of, I mean, it's obvious now because we know it's there. But when you're on big window looking in it, you don't necessarily notice it. Um, and especially coming up top white as well. It's, I mean, it's, and we know it's there, don't you? But if you didn't know that was there and you were worried about kids, then you might not notice that there as much. But that gives you a good overview of the big window, the default plant behind, plant behind big window. Um, and white stairs, of course. Okay, now we're downstairs, Oregon. I've reinforced this wall, made a line aside for the purpose of demonstration. Bang one on the wall here. This will give you all the information you need about people coming through Blue Door and will also cover you, uh, your default plan spot there as well. We're on the opposite side of Oregon basement defense now and we've made the usual line of sight of cross freezer. Um, if, again, mentioned in the mute setup video, if you haven't watched that, definitely watch that. Um, put that on this wall here. This will then give you a really good overview of all the freezer, anyone down the bottom stairs. The uh, bottom main stairs push and will enable you to uh, deny the plant if need be anywhere in uh, in laundry. Chalet top floor, this is one of my favourites, it's a bit secret squirrel. So, shoot out the two uh, shelves. The two coffee machines that are behind the shelves. If you come to this side, you can destroy them both with one hit. Magic. Vault up here. Keep this plant pot. Go to the end of the wine cooler and then look on the wall right here. Get that down. Now, I'll show you two things here. One. 
There's no way anyone's planting behind half wall without destroying this cam first. And secondly, let me go around the other side and pretend we're breaching. Come on, Maestro. Get a sprint on us. So we've breached here. In we come. Where's that Maestro cam? Can you tell me? I, c I don't even know where it is and I put it down. So it's so well concealed. However, if we get rid of the plant pot, you know, when you breach and you come in, it's fairly obvious. So keep the plant pot there for as long as you can. Obviously, it only takes one shot to destroy that, so it might not last all round. But if you can keep that plant pot there, definitely keep it there. One more for Chalet Top Floor. We're in the solarium here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to put the cam in the right in the corner there. It's actually really well hidden by these uh, by these plants. So you can only vault up on this planter by going towards the window to the end and vaulting up here. Now it's, it can be a bit tricky there, so just be careful. But as you come along, what eventually is going to happen is we're going to stand on that windowsill. And you'll see us go, we've just gone up onto that one. And then we're up into this one now. When we're up here, we can place this onto the floor. Like I say, it's a bit, it's a bit janky, but I mean, that's pretty well hidden for me. Again, it's the classic, we know it's there type thing, but as you're coming up, you might not always see it. You shoot the default, you might not see that, but I think it's in a really good spot. So, obviously, you see the stairs. You can get any denial off the wall. You see bathroom, um, and any drones that come past, of course. Right, downstairs, there's nothing spicy about this one. This is really, really basic. Um, it's the classic. It's been used for years, but I'll show you anyway. Stand up, get as high as you can. So it can't be now. If they're going to have to use something to get rid of that, ideally you've got an ADS or two there to protect it. Um, that's going to give you everything you need to know about main stairs, the main garage breach, and the default plan spot. Okay, top floor consulate. Um, I've seen a few people do this, but not everyone knows you can vault on this unit here. If you crouch and look at the lip of it in line with the vase, it's quite an easy vault. You got the vault animation there. Um, get the, the picture down first. And, uh, and pop it up here as wide over to that side as you can. Again, like I said to you before, if you now shoot that vault, um, that bavars, then you're not able to vault anymore. So you're literally unable to to smash that maestro cam. That also enable you to stop the default plant and give you good information across uh, most of the site. Sorry, my phone rang then. I don't know if you heard it. Um, but yeah, get vault up. Remember to punch that vase out. And, um, and you're in. Oh, I just saw a vault animation then. Did I? No, am I tripping? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's safe and it's um, it's a really good cam to use. So we're still upstairs in consulates. At, at the minute though, we're in uh, meeting room slash projector, whatever you want to call it. Um, why do they call it projector? That's why they call it projector. Just realise that. Alright, so get up on this table. When the, the vault animation turns up. Stand up. Get your cam on the wall. Drop off. And don't impact the table because the, uh, the impact will destroy your camera, obviously. But no, you can't knife that, no matter how much you try. Um, and this will give you a uh, really good overview of visa stairs, the uh, double window projector jump in, and the rest of the projector. Okay, clubhouse upstairs. We are defending CCTV and cash. First thing that should always be done on this side defense is punch that in radio. Then get rid of the mug, punch the TV until you can vault up here. Now, you see a lot of cams placed in this area here. However, you can go one better. Crouch your way around the outside of this radio. Wait until you fall in the bucket. Get the vault animation. Excuse me, the vault animation. Now, a bit like the Oregon draws, we need to wait until we... We can't stand up as it is here, so we need to edge off slightly until we can stand up. So just carefully does it. Probably another pixel or two. There we go. Now you can stand up. I can get the cam as high up as we can. There we go. Give you a really good overview of, uh, of the breach and the default plan spot, obviously. The next one is over in cache. You can get up on this area here. You climb up here. You get rid of the fan. And you do a bit of uh, wiggle running. And eventually... Oh, not quite like that, though. Do a bit of wiggle running. And we'll get up there. Cam goes on the very top. This will also give you... Not only information of the whole cash room and deny the plants, but also information into uh, into construction as well. Okay, we're now in. Okay, we're now in uh, church and arsenal in the clubhouse basement. We can actually get on top of this um, this jukebox and give a really good camera up in that corner, an overview of almost the entire site. I mean, you need to stand about forty five degrees onto this jukebox, so we get the vault animation. There we go. Get that right in the corner of there. That'll give you some really good information coming out of Moto, um, coming out of the blue rotate, and also round into uh, behind the desk and uh, behind the fly cases if need be. 
this is a slightly different use of a maestro cam and i do see it quite a lot so i'm sure some people will know it but i'll show you anyway we're defending basement we've reinforced the kitchen hatch we come up here into lodgy we impact the corner of the room here i i would personally use your bailiff but for, the, for speeding things up i'll use my, uh, my impact put the cam on the wall here when you look down through the floor you're going to be able to see the hatch so any um, thermite charge, ex Kairos pallet, uh, pallets from Habana, or any um, Ace Salmas that go on there, you'll be able to destroy. It isn't going to last long because as soon as the attackers know that's there, they're going to come up here and deal with it. But it's just another problem that you've given them that they're going to have to deal with. Right, we're on bank. Before we get started, you hear that music? You can only get rid of that music by shooting this one speaker. There's your first tip on bank. Right, this one is super basic for back CEO, just on this wall here. You're going to be able to see the janitor rotators through the spin of the camera and the two breaches at the back, plus any plants apart from behind this bootcase, but let's hope they don't know that. So still on top floor, another mad basic one. Um, it's always good practice to reinforce these two walls at the end of the, the corridor. Otherwise, you're going to have someone soft breaching the soft wall, playing this window and being able to hold the whole corridor down here. So to um, cover all of the uh, top main stock entrance, basically outside janitor as well on top banana, what you want to do is get in the corner, but don't put it directly in the corner because this, uh, is it a bin? Yeah, this bin's going to block you. So you want to come out slightly until you've got line of sight yourself. Turn around, it's about where the foot reinforcement foot is. Put that in the corner there. It's actually quite inconspicuous, not everybody sees this. You're going to be able to take any drones coming up banana, and as I said, the other areas, top main stock and janitor. We're onto the basements, and before the rework, you used to be able to get a cam up on here by vaulting on these bins, but you can't do that anymore. If anyone knows how to vault these bins these days, please let me know. Um, next best now is look at the back wheel of the uh, the truck come in slightly. Back here. And you're going to be able to see the entirety of the garage. Now, bear in mind, this is only really useful if you've got someone playing garage, or you've got someone playing here who's going to challenge onto the information that somebody's in garage. You don't want to put that camera there and have nobody use the information. The attackers get down here, destroy the camera, and it serves zero purpose. So th this is only good if you've got a team where you know someone's playing garage. I've ran down here just to show you that as you're coming in the garage, unless you know it's there, you're really going to struggle to see that as you're coming down here. However, there's a really good um, full range of uh, view from underneath the van. Now this one is an absolute screamer, in my opinion anyway. We walk up to piano here on cafe. And you line up with the, uh, sort of, whatever you want to call this. I don't know, what do you call that? It's not a wall, is it? What's this? Whatever this is around the uh, the stage. Line up on the end of it. Wait till you get the vault prompt and up you go. Just carefully go along the end. Along the top, sorry. And wait until you get the prompt to get your cam down. Pop that in there. You see a lot of my, um, valve cams in similar spots, but... If you want a cam to protect probably the busiest area of upstairs on cafe, you're not going to get much better than this. And to protect the bar area um, from default plants, we hop up here and pop the cam up as high as we can. This is actually also really good for sound cues on Skylight and New Hatch as well. Okay, we're kitchen on um, cafe now, and what we've done is made a double bailiff shotgun hole line all the way across. If you play the shotgun on Maestro, this is going to be much easier for you and much quicker. But make that all the way across, not so your head can be seen over the top, but just enough so you can uh, see over with your cam. We, we vault up on here, not like that, like this. Put the cam as high up as you can. On this pillar. Turn it left. You're then going to be able to see prep door, which is there, obviously. Um, prep door, you can see the default plan spot at the back. You can get the information through the middle here if this breach was to be open, and obviously you can flick the double door if need be. Right, then we're on Villa. We're in games. I don't think I've seen anyone ever do this in ranked. I, I, I genuinely don't think I've seen it. We hop up onto the bar. We create a line of sight through that wall. Crouch on the bar. Get to this uh, sort of post next to the bar. Do a bit of jiggering around. And we get it down. With this line of sight, you can see the entrance into Aviator in zombie and obviously the bar door and um, yeah i don't think i've ever seen anyone do this one unless i've just missed it but that is an absolutely perfect cam the next one requires no snazzy vaulting but is one that often goes overlooked by the attackers and um, when it comes to clearing it and it's right in behind the vault door there so get in behind here pop it as high up as we can leave it on the wall there 
I don't know why it just gets inconspicuously missed. Obviously, people from Zombie are probably not going to see it until it's too late, and you're right under the uh, your default plan spot here. Deny the plan behind Bolt Door. We're in Astro on Villa now, with the usual rotate through um, Astro into Trophy. We're going to punch all four legs of this globe. Like so. Punch the leg. There we go. That's the globe gone. Now get the camera in the corner here on the wall as high as possible. And you can see loads from this camera. You've got the bathroom door, you've got the concrete door, and you've got the uh, trophy door to, uh, to Wolf and Pig. Obviously anyone that comes up Astro stairs, really, really good camera. Now this one's a bit of a meme cam, uh, a bit of a meme evil eye. Uh, I do it every now and then, um, but not when I'm really trying as hard as possible. But it does work sometimes. If there's a, you know, an ace or a thermite or something, if it's a banner, not so much. But when they're trying to breach this wall, if you put the cam just the other side of this, uh, this wall, they very, very rarely know it's there. So when you're droning through here, you drone through and you, you know, you check bathroom, you check in the bath, you'll check Astro stairs. You never loot left here. You never loot left. It's also a really good spot for a couple of Womai magnets if they play an ace so they can catch the Salmas as he throws them at the wall. But uh, that might be a video for another day. So, um, yeah, put it on the wall. And anytime the Harbour Reach stuff gets, um, whether it's ex Kairos or um, Exothermic Charge or AC Salmas, you can pop it off the wall with this cam. It's a quick one down in dining for you whilst we're on Villa. Hop up onto the wooden box here. You can get the camera on this flight case. You've just got to meet yourself at the right angle to get it on there. It can be a bit tricky and you'll fall off the box occasionally. Don't worry about that. We've all been there. There we go. Second time lucky. Ignore that. We'll cut that out of the video. Just kidding. Um, so yeah, this uh, this cam will be able to uh, give you laundry entrance and uh, memorial door. Just a quick one down in dining for you whilst we're on Villa. Hop up onto the wooden box here. You can get the camera on this flight case. You've just got to meet yourself at the right angle to get it on there. It can be a bit tricky and you'll fall off the box occasionally. Don't worry about that. We've all been there. There we go. Second time lucky. Ignore that. We'll cut that out of the video. Just kidding. Um, so yeah, this uh, this cam will be able to uh, give you laundry entrance and uh, memorial door. On top of the last clip I've just shown you with this cam, what I've done is placed another cam on the flight case below. And I know some people will watch this and think, well, if you're putting a cam up there, why go to the length? Why don't you just put a cam here? Like, what's the difference? But the subtle um, differences in where you place a maestro cam can give you so much more of a, um, a sort of viewing range. So if we look at the um, the, for the bottom one, I can only look around to the corner of this fly case. I can't actually turn the cursor around to fire anywhere near laundry door. Um, and I can't see beyond the flight cases. If we flick to the top one, because it's on a slightly different angle, which you can see there, um, more pointing towards um, laundry. If we turn this left, I now can damage anyone coming through laundry door, or any drones coming through laundry door. But I look at how much more view... I can almost see round into uh, into the double door. Almost. If I put it, you can somehow get it further to the edge of that flight box. I bet you could. But just that subtle difference between the angles of where to place those cams gives you such a different viewing range. So it's worth exploring. You know, you can vault up somewhere a little bit higher to get the cam down. Definitely try and do it. Yeah, we'll just look at Armoury Throne quickly on Theme Park. So first thing to do is make footholds here. Regardless of whether you're playing Maestro or not, this is really good practice anyway. It means you can be safe from split in this area if you're prone, and you can hold the run in from Dragon Door. Um, the person running in from Dragon Door is obviously never going to see you prone when they come through this door. They're going to check towards Throne. You're going to think they're safe from this side, but they're not because of the feet hole. So regardless of this camp, I would play like that anyway on this side. Get over into this far corner. Look at where the furnace is and step out slightly so you're not uh, blocked by the furnace. Pop that on the wall here. And I'll give you an idea of the uh, the coverage this gives you. Obviously, you can now see split door both sides. You can now see the run-in from Dragon when the feet come through here. I'll just nip over there and uh, and show you quickly. As soon as someone comes through Dragon, you'll see my ankles. Hello. Ow. Um, you've also got the default plant here covered and the default plant here covered. The only place that's not covered is the default plant behind this pillar here. Um, and if you're unlucky enough that somebody plants there, then unlucky. However, the second cam that I put down on this site is on this pillar here. Now when you think about the coverage these two cams give you on this site, this is going to prevent the behind the throne plant 
You can also see split door and you can see the uh, dragon door as well on this. So from these two cameras, you have so much info across the site because in fairness, this is a huge site compared to a lot of other sites on Siege. So um, being able to see across the whole site from two Maestro cams, being able to deny drone intel that comes in. There's a drone hole behind the furnace here as well. There's also a drone hole behind the, uh, the throne. These are two of the best cams, um, in my opinion, on this side. So that's us done and dusted for Evil Eye placements. Hopefully they can help you out in your ranked games, casual games, unranked games, whatever it is you're playing. If you do use any of the placements, or if you've got placements which are really good that I haven't put in the video, let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing. It helps me out loads. And also give us a follow on Twitch as well. I stream on there four days a week. Well, that wraps it up for today. Thanks very much.